Hi, welcome back to my channel. I am Charlotte and today I wanted to share with you my handy dandy planner. I love having just a regular binder that I use as a planner. Actually, this is not a regular binder. <laughs> I will show you it has a fun trick to it. But I like having just a normal sized binder that I can print, normal sized paper, and use a normal sized hole punch and just put it together myself and change it with the seasons of life and just have a planner that adapts to whatever I'm going through. So I will switch the camera so you can see exactly what I have inside of this little companion of mine. <laughs> and we will dive into the planner stuff together. All right, so this is the current binder planner situation for anyone who's been following my saga. <laughs> I started planning in a binder years ago and kind of the binder that really inspired it was this gorgeous pink leatherette binder from Target. It's so pretty, but it's really hard to write in, at least for me, because I like to use both sides of the page and with a binder, you just can't open it like a spiral bound notebook, which is the type of planner I used to always use. So I kind of evolved over time into this binder that I found, which is very cool because it opens all the way flat like a notebook. It has a little fabric binding and you can open it all the way. And I just think that's really cool to use it like a notebook, but to be able to open these rings like a binder. But my only complaint about this particular one, well, two main complaints. One is that it doesn't come in any cute colors. I wish I could find it in pink, for instance. Um, and the other one is that these like rings don't flip perfectly smoothly. Like if you're in a rush, they don't lay down perfectly flat. So especially if you were like a student or someone that has to flip through your nose quickly, I don't think it would be the best in that regard. It's totally doable, but it just takes a little second to flip it open. And I just, like I said, I didn't really love the aesthetic of this one. I put this cover page on the front, which made me like it a little bit more. And I tried to accessorize it cutely, but for me, I'm just more drawn to lighter colors, especially pastel colors. But if I can't have pastel, then I'll take just like a blank canvas. So that's why I switched to this binder, which looks like just a plain, normal white binder. It has that pocket on the front, on the seam, and on the back. But this binder has something really cool, and I kind of feel bad showing you this because it is sold out currently, but I'm sure, hopefully, hopefully it will come back. I'll put all the information so you can try to track it down if you're interested. But what's cool about it is that it also flips all the way open. Even though it functions like a traditional binder, this part of the binding is all wiggly. <laughs> so you can open it however you want. You can open it completely flat and right on the front side of the page. And then what's so crazy is that the actual like binding itself, how can I hold this to show you? Okay, the actual three rings themselves are on this loose hinge. So when you wanna write on the back of the page, you just flip it all the way around and you can completely have a flat back to write on basically just like a spiral notebook. So I think that's so cool and functional. The other thing that's cool is that you can prop it up almost like an easel. Can't really see from that angle, but if you had a page that maybe a recipe and you're cooking or something for work for a presentation, you wanna be able to see whatever it might be, you can set it up to hold itself upright. So it just is a really cool binder. It's got a lot of options. Wish it came in pink, but I like the the plain slate that I can then accessorize. So that is the current binder. It's called the Avery Flip Back 360, I think. I'll put the link to the sold out Amazon and hopefully you guys can find it somewhere if you want it. But I have here inside of the cover, just a printable of my planner page that has an annual cover. It's a really cute baby pink, so I don't know how well the camera shows it, but it's also available in blue or black, and if you get my printable planner pages, it'll come with that. And this has been updated for the year 2023. I can't believe it's like a whole new, <laughs> whole new year on our hands. We're already entering the second month of it. But if you already have the planner and you just need an, or want an updated cover page, you can get this separate if you don't need to get my whole planner. The nice thing about printable planners, obviously, is you don't have to buy a whole new planner every single year. You just buy the files once and you keep printing it. Or if you just want to DIY your own printables and just print them out and stick them in here. That's just what I like about the binder system. It's so flexible that way. And I don't have to physically buy a super expensive or 10 super expensive planners each year. I can just work with this system. 
Okay, so inside of here, I just have a couple things in this front pocket. I have some stamps for writing letters, and these are really cute because they say happy birthday, and it's my birthday month, February. So I thought those were festive. And then I have some sticky notes that are also pretty festive because they say be mine for Valentine's, but they have like birthday sprinkles on them. So I feel like they were made for February babies like myself. <laughs> but I like to have sticky notes handy so I can quickly write a note and tear it off. Obviously send those out. I might kind of deck this out more to be cute eventually, but I haven't yet. I just keep it somewhat simple. And I have it usually folded open because like I said, that's like my favorite feature. So I typically leave this binder folded open to my first page and sitting out. And the very first page I have in here is this little printable that has my routine. So it's a whole routine tracker and it's a two page printable, but I print it on one page. You go in the settings and you do like two pages per page. And that way I can just see this little bird's eye view and this is like my weekly tasks and this is my daily. For me, I just love to have a routine tracker so I'm not constantly relying on my memory to try to think of every little step that I wanna complete throughout the day that just, you know, recurring tasks like over and over each day or how I wanna structure my time to be productive, things like that. I like to just have it written out and then even if I know it like completely by heart, I just enjoy checking it off as I go through. And I just think there's some wisdom in that. Like I know pilots who have been flying planes for their whole career still use a checklist at takeoff and landing and stuff. And there's just some kind of wisdom in a checklist just to be sure you're covering your bases. Um, so I really like having something that's just very adaptable to my personal routine. This is again a printable if you guys want it. I have it in a couple different designs. This is like the retro one. So it has a little retro clip art that I think is kind of cute. And I just like it to be all on one page. This is like my little, I'm like a little homing pigeon that just comes back to this page all the time throughout the day. So on this side, I check off like those recurring weekly tasks, like laundry, stuff around the house, groceries, things like that, work tasks. I even have like my beauty tasks on here. Like what day I like to do my nails, what day I like to wash my hair, things like that. Um, this is like a little miniature habit tracker so I can check off my habits each day and my little chores that I do try to do each day to keep our house at a level of cleanliness that makes me super happy. <laughs> and then this is my routine. So this document, I tweak it all the time. Like every single week I will go back through it and tweak it and see like what's working, change it for the season, change it for my work schedule. If I'm having earlier meetings and I need to start my day earlier, if I have to go later if I want to see the sunset and the sunset time is changing like little things like that I am constantly tweaking it and revising it adding in new habits changing old habits changing different steps I have to do etc so that is just a really handy page for me and how my brain works I always come back to this and I just use a dry erase marker to fill this in um, I usually have a cuter dry erase marker than this, so I like to get it Daiso, the Japanese dollar store, but they have been sold out of the pink one. It's like a black marker, but it has a pink lid on it, and so uh, I'm really missing that really bad. I need to keep going back and just trying to find it again, but in the meantime, I just have the black version. It's just a plain black dry erase marker, and what I like about their pens is that they have this like built-in eraser in the lid, so it's really easy at the end of the day. I just wipe my slate clean, like check off this whole routine as I went through throughout the day and start fresh for the next day. It's just a printed out sheet of paper and a page protector. So it's like a very simple little system, but I've been using it for years and it just works for me for some weird reason. And then at the end of the week, I would erase the weekly page too and just start fresh the next week. Um, tweak anything I need to tweak and go from there. So this is just truly a little routine page. and. Uh, since I use a dry erase marker, sometimes it does scuff a little bit if I'm rifling through my binder a lot. So you can also use a wet erase marker on these so it's a little harder to erase. But in general, I try to just kind of be aware of not rubbing it on anything too much when I'm flipping through here. Okay, this is such an exciting update in my planner, you guys. <laughs> I have been looking high and low for years for the perfect pink dividers. I just wanted this perfect shade of pink, very plain, like no weird graphic design, nothing like that. I just wanted a set of plain pink divider, dividers and I finally found them. And I think the most exciting thing is 
So I found them for you too. So if you would like a set of the most perfect plain pink dividers, I will have these on my shop for like a limited time, limited edition. I don't know how many I can source, but for now I'm gonna try to hook you guys up with these dividers. It's a set of eight and they just come in this beautiful pink. They're like a very thick cardstock that's like kind of got a little bit of a sheen on this side and then it's like a plain cardstock on the back. So they're thick and they're durable and I am just so happy with these. I've been looking for the perfect dividers for so long. <laughs> so go check my shop if you're looking for plain pink dividers like I am. Like, I mean, just cause we are grown ups doesn't mean we don't want cute school supplies, you know? So that's the situation in here. It's making me so happy when I flip through it. Even though I can't find the pink binder that works for my system yet. Oh my gosh, one day I will. Um, until then, at least I can add, fill it with like pink printer paper and pink dividers because I think you should fill your planner with your favorite color because it just kind of like magnetizes you to it. It makes you want to pick it up and use it and flip through it and it's just, ugh, I just love it. So whatever color like sparks joy for you and let's please not hate on each other for our favorite colors. That's so third grade. Please don't do that. <laughs> My favorite color happens to be pink. That is not anybody else's business. And if your favorite color is pink or blue or purple or puce, whatever it might be, you have my full support. And I just want you to have a planner that fills you with joy and happiness. And when you look at it, you're like, ah, I wanna pick that up. That's my favorite color. Or all the colors, you know? Like go, go crazy with it, whatever inspires you. So for mine, I have like a monochromatic shades of pink happening. And to label these dividers, I used my label maker because I can just never write on these in a way that is tidy enough <laughs> for my tastes. Like trying to write sideways in that little space, I'm never happy with how it turns out when I hand write dividers. And this way I can use like tweezers and peel up the little labor label from my label maker when I wanna change what it says on one of these tabs. So for that, I just have a good old fashioned label maker, the P-Touch brand, and I'm using the clear label tape so it doesn't cover too much of my gorgeous pink divider real estate. And for inquiring minds, because I feel like there's gonna be some out there, the font I used, it only has like four fonts on here, but it's called BRU, I assume that's short for something, and I did it in size nine. So that's what these little tiny headers are all throughout here. And the first section that I have is my planner. So again, what I love about this is that I can change these dividers according to whatever season of life, like whatever I have going on. So great, but I almost always have my planner as the actual first section. And then in that section, I will just have this month's worth of pages, which is another reason I enjoy using a binder. I don't have to carry around an actual pre-printed thick planner that has like all 365 days in it. I just have one month at a time because um, I don't find that I go back and consult my old pages very much. If there is anything important off of those, I would like copy it over onto a master list and recycle those pages and move on. So this is the planner printable. I mentioned it comes with this cover if you're looking for anything that you can print out on your own. And I really like this system for myself because it just kind of keeps me organized and on track, which is you know what you would hope your planner would do, but it also kind of helps me shape things to be more conscientious and purposeful and thoughtful. Um, I don't know, and look for the bright side. I put a lot of effort into planning these so that they would support that kind of goal. Like if that's your goal in life, <laughs> my goal is to go through life in a calm, organized, happy, efficient, joyful manner. <laughs> and that's what I want my planner to support me in. So each month I pick a theme and a habit my theme for February is going to be charm <laughs> because I don't know if you guys have heard of the, I think it's called like the lucky girl theory. And it's like, you just tell yourself you're a lucky girl and that lucky things happen for you. And I don't know, maybe it works out. So that's kind of my version of that is I just want to, I just want to have a charmed life. I just want to have a charmed birthday month and I want to focus on looking for the charming side of life. And so that's my theme. I always do a little doodle. So I have some little sparkles. And I haven't really dialed in what my habit's gonna be tomorrow. Today is February Eve. So tomorrow is the first day of February. So I have a little wiggle room to think about that, but it's probably going to be dancing because I started doing 
I think it's called body groove, body groove workouts. And it's so much fun, it's so much fun. It's just like basically freestyle dancing. Uh, it's hard to explain, but definitely look it up if you're looking for some fun exercise. I am addicted, I've been loving it since the new year. So I think I'm gonna make that my daily habit just to reinforce sticking with it. I know we all start new exercise <laughs> trends in January and then it's like kind of starts to fall off sometimes. So February is a good month, I feel like, to carry through any healthy habits that started in January. And then these planner pages are meant to plan out the month ahead and then at the end of the month come back and reflect on the month. So this has questions that help you like set up your goals and priorities, um, think about self-care, things you could do to take care of yourself and improve yourself. And also I'm always all about like looking forward to things, planning things, finding something joyful to look forward to. So that's kind of the philosophy behind these planner pages. If you do pick them up, you'll see there's plenty of instructions and I also have plenty of videos on it. So I'm not going to go into major depth, but I did put all the blank pages in here for this month. So I have a weekly page, same thing. It's like the weekly overview, plan the week, reflect on the week and daily pages to plan and reflect. And I always use both sides of a sheet of paper and then I will recycle it once I've used every square inch and I try to really get the most I possibly can out of it. I try to be really conscientious about that, but I have to say that actually handwriting things out on paper with pen is like the most powerful technique for me for how I'm wired to remember things, to follow through on things, to figure out how I feel about things. Like that's why I love journaling and stuff like this. So this planner is like kind of part journal, part planner. It has like places that I fill in like my little memories at the end of the week and things I'm grateful for. And I don't know, I just really like how this has been working out for me. So I'm sticking with this and that'll be all the pages in the planner section. The next section I have is health. And right now I actually have some pages in here, mostly for meal planning. And I photocopied these out of a book from 1952, <laughs> which is called um, the Anita Colby's Beauty Book, Beauty Guide. If you Google Anita Colby Beauty Book, you'll find it. It's pretty expensive, um, but you can find deals on eBay sometimes. And I'm a collector of vintage books, so I always love to consult those. And I thought it would be fun to get some meal planning ideas <laughs> from this. I'm not eating it exactly as she envisioned in 1952. Like I'm not having jellied consomme. <laughs> I think that's like, what would that be? Like a bone broth that's like got a gelatinous texture. Um, broiled liver steak. There's like some tongue in here. There's a whole bunch of meat that I do not eat, all sorts of things. But it's also, there's some good things to be gleaned from it as well. Like every single meal has fresh fruit and veggies. And I just like getting ideas from vintage sources like that. I think that's kind of fun. So this is my little meal planning section where I put inspiration and ideas and make my grocery list and stuff like that. Then the next section I put crafts on here, but I'm going to change it to hobbies because it's really more than just that because this year I'm kind of focusing on my two main hobbies. I am a big believer in hobbies, by the way. I think it just makes life more fun. I really love indulging in hobbies, but no matter where you're at and like what season of life, I think it's really good to make time for a hobby that you don't monetize, that you don't hustle, that is just for you, for your enjoyment, for your own creative outlet. And it can be very fun and creative, but also soothing and calming. So I love having hobbies. I'll get off my soapbox about hobbies, but <laughs> my top two hobbies are baking and embroidery. So this year I'm doing like a fun little project for no reason, except for my own extra self um, of like baking something each month and then also embroidering something to match. So for January, I did cherries in the snow. It'll probably be on my Instagram if you want to check it out. But anyway, it's just a tiny little fun thing for myself. I like having fun hobbies. And this is just a page protector sheet that I put in here, but it allows me to stick patterns in. So I have some patterns of things that I want to embroider. So whatever your hobbies might be, think about trying to stick them in your planner. And then it just kind of makes me feel happy when I'm flipping through and I see like, oh yeah, I take time for myself. <laughs> I have my work stuff further down in here, but Sometimes just seeing all work and no play can be a little bit depressing. So 
I have a section that's just for fun. I have a few sections that are just for fun. My next section is for my birthday. <laughs> and again, what I really like about the binder is I can just change it up whenever. So after February, obviously this section will come out and I can change it with something else. But for right now, I have some plans for my birthday. Um, I'll skip past these because that's like a travel itinerary. We're gonna go on a trip with my hubby and some friends. I'm excited for that. And the other thing I have in here is my spa night planner. Also a printable you could get if you're so inclined, but I love to plan out a really lovely, fun bath night for myself and do little home beauty treatments and feel like I got a fancy spa experience, but on, you know, a home DIY budget. So this just has a little prompts for thinking of ways to make a themed bath, make it feel more special. And I'll definitely be going through this. And I also like to look at the products I already have and write down what I could use. Like anything I have that's like cake flavored or at all birthday themed will be going in here <laughs> so I can have a fun birthday time. Okay, and then this section is budget. So I have printouts of budgets and bill, my monthly bill spreadsheet in here. This first page though is kind of more fun. I'm basically trying to not just make this all work and no play. So like, even though this section is mostly for paying bills, I have like some dream purchases on here that I would like to make. And so I can kind of just daydream and visualize and think about how I'd like to spend money if I had it. <laughs> and then also when I do find myself with some spending money, I can come here and see stump something I wrote down like a month ago that I've been wanting forever. And it's not gonna be like an impulse purchase when I finally do get it. And the next section is for work. I actually covered it up because this is for one of my clients and I like to keep real work <laughs> separate from the online world when I can. Um, but if you don't know, I'm a freelance copywriter and editor by day. So like I said, this section is just for one client. And then the next section is for the rest of my clients. But when I have somebody that's taking up the majority of my hours, I like to keep that separate. So it's easier to find meeting notes or anything like that. And then the last section here is just paper. I always like to have a section for lined paper. Ah, I love plain lined college rolled paper. To me, it's just so fun to like take out a fresh sheet of paper and write anything I want on it, brainstorm, make a list. And then since it's a binder, I can easily just pop it out and stick it in my birthday section or in my work section, wherever it needs to go. And I don't know if I showed, this doesn't have tabs on it because it's this interesting little wiggly design. So you just open it by pulling on the rings. And this has been working so great for me. I'm absolutely in love with it. Have my plain paper, nothing in this back pocket for now. I did put some adhesive pin loops. I've been using these same adhesive pin loops for so long and I just keep tearing them up and putting them on a new binder and sticking them back down. And they have been re-sticking to their credit for many a binder now, because I ordered like one set of pink pen loops on Amazon and I've been using it for like years. <laughs> so that's how I have it. I like to have two pen loops. I mean, I don't know why things don't ever come with two pen loops, but you can fit two pens usually on a page. So I have my writing pen. I'm a felt tip pen person. I usually use the paper mate pens because they're like really nice and bold and the ink is very easy to see and like you can come back to your notes a year later and you'll still be able to read it. But for aesthetic sake, I've been using this prettier felt tip pen. I got this one at Target. It is by U Brands and it's like a finer point felt tip. But that's, as long as it's felt tip, I'm happy. I don't like a roller ball or a gel. Like I want a little tiny bit of friction when I'm writing because I feel like my handwriting just looks a little nicer. So that's my pen of choice. I think I already told you about the dry erase marker and those tabs and I think that's it. That's my whole setup right now. I'm absolutely loving it. It makes me so happy to be able to flip through this and have a section for anything going on in my life and to know I can just change it so whatever my current interests or obligations or plans or projects might be. So that is that. And check out my shop if you're interested in any of the printables I mentioned. If you're interested in hopefully trying to get some of these <laughs> pink dividers before they're lost to the sands of time. But I am so happy we finally found some good plain pink dividers. So happy. It's just, it's the little things in life, you know? I'm so excited. 
Thank you so much for joining. I hope that was helpful to get a little flip through of my friend here. And I hope it inspired you with whatever method of planning suits you best. And just to take that moment to reflect and find maybe some gratitude and hopefully have things to look forward to and be excited about because that is some of the best, best parts of planning. And that is what I wish for all of you. And I just hope you're having a wonderful start to the new year. So uh, hit subscribe if you'd like to join us for more videos to come. We do like lifestyle, nesting, home stuff. Just honestly trying to get the most joy out of every day possible. So I hope you'll join us if you would like, and I will see you in the next video. Bye.